fertilization. So what is this fertilization is all about? It is the meeting of the male gamete with the female gamete is known as fertilization process. Usually what will happen? The ovum which is produced from the ovary. So this part is called ovary. In that ovary an ovum egg cell is formed. So that it will be released from the ovary and the sperm which is the male gamete it fertilizes that. So usually how it will enter inside this part is called the vagina and the sperms are ejaculated into the vagina. From the vagina this sperms they have a tail structure. The help of the tail what will happen it will locomote it is motile it can move it can move inside and mostly they will meet the ovum in this tube. This tube is called as the fallopian tube. The fertilization mostly it takes place in this tube. So this tube is called as fallopian tube. The ovum it will be released from the ovary and it will be somewhere here in the fallopian tube. The sperms it enters through the vagina, it moves inside the cervix and it crosses the uterus and the fertilization process takes place here. So now we got to learn about how this fertilization process occurs. So this is the ovum and in the fallopian tube what will happen? The sperm moves inside and the sperm first it binds with the outer membrane of the ovum which is called as the zona pellucida. Zona pellucida. So now the sperm it will locomote and millions of sperms it locomotes and only one sperm it fertilizes the ovum. It touch the sperm which touches the first it will be the sperm which fertilizes that. So now a sperm binds with the outer membrane that is called zona pellucida. Now what will happen there the tip of the sperm it has a structure called acrosome. That acrosome it contains an enzyme which is called as the hydrolytic enzyme. So with the help of that hydrolytic enzymes what will happen? The acrosome it dissolves the membrane and slowly what will happen? Here you can see there the release of the nucleus takes place. The nucleus it will be released inside the cytoplasm of the ovum. So now this nuclei that is the male nuclei it fuses with the egg nuclei and they develop into zygote. So here even though millions and millions of sperm approaches the ovum only one sperm can fertilize that. Once the one sperm is fertilized that what will happen the lot of changes takes place in the egg membrane that is the outer membrane and it will become stiffened it become hard so that many sperms further sperms will not enter inside to avoid the polyspermy condition poly means many to avoid entering of many sperms into the ovum what will happen there the sperms once the one sperm is fertilized the changes takes place in the cell membrane of the uh, ovum so that it avoids the entry of further sperms inside. So that this is what changes takes place in the fertilization membrane. First the sperm binds to that an acrosome it starts reacting and releases the enzymes. Those enzymes it digests the wall and slowly what will happen only the nuclei of the male or sperm it released inside. The rest of the structures that is the mid piece or middle piece as well as the tail it disintegrates. Only the nucleus it enters into the cytoplasm of the ovum where it fuses with the egg nucleus and it becomes zygote. This is how fertilization process takes place in human. Next we are going to talk about implantation. Once after fertilization the fallopian tube after fertilization they develop into zygote that is a diploid condition zygote. So this zygote it undergo lot of changes. So here mostly the fertilization process takes place in the fallopian tube. This is the fallopian tube where fertilization process takes place. The sperm enters through the vagina, cervix, uterus 
and it fertilizes here. So you can see the fertilization process takes place. So after fertilization, immediately after fertilization, the first day itself, it develops into a condition called zygote, where this is this nuclei, it become deployed condition, that is called 2N conditions. And then what will happen, the cell starts dividing, immediately after fertilization, the cell starts dividing, that process is called as cleavage. The zygote undergoes cleavage. It undergo a cleavage process where it become two cell stage, four cell, eight cell, and finally it become ball of cells called morula. So during this stage, and later they form blastocyst, blastula condition. So first day fertilization, second day, third day, fourth day, fourth day it become morula, and fifth day it become blastocyst. In the blastocyst stage only the implantation takes place. So here the fertilization takes place in the fallopian tube. Slowly what will happen, the ovum, it moves in the fallopian tube and get implanted. Implantation means attached, attaches to the uterus. That is called implantation process takes place. The implantation, it, it exactly takes at fifth day after fertilization process. So this is called as implantation.